uh, a lot of the stuff that I do in the studio actually um, has a tendency of working in one way or another. It has a way of finding its way onto albums and sessions and whatnot of different bands, artists, and sometimes even my own stuff. So what I wanted to experiment with now is uh, using a um, <laughs> using the drum machine as just like opening and closing channels, which I've been doing with the audio in and out. So the idea was to uh, record a, a fairly simple rhythm on on the drum machine, and then I would record the different bass drums and snare drums. So this is what I have on the machines right now. So there's just random bass drum hits, and then on the other one... Random snare drum hits. So the idea was that the, uh, the electrode would be opening and closing like a gate thing, and then just random hits would like show up in the little gaps when that channel is open. So what I'd get is a um, sort of, I don't know, like gappy uh, drum thing going on, but you could still sort of hear uh, the uh, <laughs> hear the rhythm. You could figure the rhythm out just by hearing the little gaps and how that works. So it would be like a a random a random rhythm in a way, but very strictly based. So uh, now you want to hear my my grand failure. Okay, so we could try we could try getting the tempo. And it sounds like a Overheim DX uh, <laughs> with some kind of weird how do you call it? Attention deficit disorder. Uh is it? Uh alright, so this didn't work. But uh, this is just as entertaining, at least for me, because now I know uh, sort of the limitations idea-wise, anyways. Uh, I can't... <laughs> this doesn't make sense at all. Which is actually uh, good, I guess. And I'll uh, keep on trying to sort something out that might work. I have another idea of playing a melody on top of the, uh, of the uh, wine glasses that we recorded and having that being cut up. But this isn't working out. <laughs> All right. Be back in a minute. 